All right, so here is a quick little tutorial on how to render out uh, a model uh, in Adobe Dimension um, to make it look as kind of photorealistic as possible. So I'm gonna use this, um, this model from, uh, from our platform. I'm gonna download our um, optimized file, a GLB in this case, because Adobe Dimension can use USDZ, GLBs, OBJs, FBXs, all sorts of stuff. But in this case, the file size will be uh, more manageable and it will still look great. So I'm gonna make a new document. I'm gonna pull in um, the file I just downloaded. I'm just gonna drag it onto the floor here. And Adobe Dimension is pretty easy to use for someone who doesn't do a lot of um, 3D rendering uh, in a program like this. Um, but if you know any other Adobe products, it's kind of similar. So in this case, uh, it's a very um, large uh, model to start out with, so I'm just gonna click on this frame selection button, which will just make everything visible. Um, right now, by default, the I have it set up to be a 1920 by 1080 image. Sometimes it's smaller, uh, I think, by default in Adobe Dimension, but you can always adjust that. Um, first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna just try to move the camera around to make it uh, where I want. I like that it's hanging off the ground like this. It looks kind of cool. You can always click up um, on the render preview button to get a little bit better idea of what it's gonna look like. Um, for this, I'm going to uh, not have to change any materials or anything. I'll just probably add a three-point light setup, which will look kind of cool. I'll keep the background um, white. I'll uh, click on the camera and I'll probably add a focus point to it. This just makes it look a bit more realistic. Um, I turn the blur mount down. It's gonna be very subtle, but, uh, but it does make a difference um, in the realism. So um, let's say I like this angle. Let's say I like um, the way the lighting is. You can always rotate the environmental light. You can turn up and down these key lights I added by clicking on the three point light. Probably turn some of them down because it's gonna be a little bright. But uh, in general, I think this looks pretty good. Um, this is all very basic. Um, I'm gonna go to the render settings. I'm gonna set it to high, uh, change the file name just to test render. Leave it at a, as a PSD, um, but you can also render it out as a PNG if you don't have Photoshop. Um, though I guess if you're using Dimension, you probably have Photoshop. Anyway, uh, rendering will take a, a bit of time. It never takes that long though from what the estimate is for me, but it'll you know, probably take um, five minutes or so, uh, and then you'll have your rendered image. So there's a lot more that you can do in Dimension, obviously, uh, to really refine this, but this is this is the absolute basic idea here. You know, adding a camera with some focus, um, setting up the environmental light, all that kind of stuff, uh, and then just rendering it. And then from there, you have a more photorealistic still image than maybe you otherwise would. So yeah, there you go. Happy rendering.